And as we get to the last and final passive income business idea, this has quickly became one of my favorites. We've got the beautiful Santa Monica Pier in the background, and it is. G'day viewers, Chris Atkins here, and welcome back to my channel, The Car Wash Chronicles. Now, clearly I'm not at the car washes. I'm going for a stroll along the beach. I thought I would mix it up a little bit with the videos. And today I'm gonna to share a couple of passive income business ideas with you guys. So if you guys are stuck in a job that you really don't enjoy, or you just wanna create some extra money while keeping your day job on the side, well then hopefully you can get something out of this video and start living the lifestyle that you wanna live. So let's get stuck into it. And clearly I'm gonna start with number one, self-serve car washes. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you've probably seen all my other videos where I go to my car washes, I show you collecting money and fixing things, which is pretty much what the car wash business is about. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna say it's not very passive because it requires some time. Well, it depends how you set it up. A lot of car wash owners live really close to the car washes, like five or 10 minutes away, and they enjoy going to the car wash. So they go five or six days a week for like maybe half an hour to an hour just to do the Bailey day-to-day -day necessities. But if you're like me and you live just under two hours away from your car wash, well then you're not gonna go every day because gas is gonna eat into the profits and it's just a lot of driving so you're not gonna do it. So I set mine up to where it's pretty passive. I go out there one to two times a week. I spend probably three hours out there that's taking care of three car washes. So about an hour at each car wash. And if you add that up over one week, that may, might be like six to 10 hours of work depends how many times i go and obviously that generates a bit of income for myself so i can live the lifestyle that i want obviously with ambitions of growing further and further but i would definitely put self-serve car washes under the category of passive income businesses because it does require little to no time once it's set up correctly now in the beginning when i first got my car washes i was working all weekend saturday and sunday 10 hours each day to get them up and running so that was like 20 hours a week for probably six weeks. And obviously once I got them up and running to their fullest potential, then I could just implement it, put the right employee in place to run it for me, take care of any things that break down. Um, and then I can just go out there once a week to collect the cash. And as always, you guys have questions about, well, how much does it cost to get a self-serve car wash? Well, every deal is different. Some are for sale for millions and others you can get for free. All I can talk about is my experience. So my experience is I got three car washes for free. All I did was went to the landlord who owns the land. I signed a lease, 20 year lease with him. They were completely shut down. So I just had to spend some money to remodel them, bring them back to life, which I did. It was about 50,000 for one car wash and about 70,000 for the other car wash, just to get equipment, paint it, you know, make them look pretty and get them working well. So definitely self-serve car wash is number one on my passive income producing business list. Number two passive income business idea on my list is one structured similar to a car wash and that is a laundromat. Now you can acquire these laundromats the same way I do car washes, find them completely shut down or even just run down stores that need new machines and you approach the landlord and then you sign a lease and then you retool them. So essentially it's a free laundromat, you're not buying it, you just sign in a lease and then you're going in and retooling it with new machines and then you're a laundromat owner. So it's really not that difficult, it's just a matter of driving around and finding these really rundown stores because they're most likely not gonna be online. And if they are online, they're trying to sell them for you know, X amount of dollars, 50, $60,000, all the way up to half a million. And like my good friend, Danny D'Angelo, the king of laundry, always says, why buy someone else's failure? And he's right, why pay money for a failed store that you're gonna have to spend a bunch of money on anyway? So again, the laundromat, another great passive income idea because you're not gonna be working in the store with like nine to five hours every day. You're gonna put a contract attendee in there. They're gonna run it for you and then you're just gonna go there probably once a week to collect the cash and do your thing. Because the goal is to create passive income, we don't wanna create a job for ourselves. So passive income business idea number three is of course vending machines. Now this is a business idea that takes little money to get into, or you could spend a bunch of money to get into it. Depends what type of machine you want. There's, you can buy them on Facebook Marketplace. You can find used machines on Craigslist, anywhere from three to $600, depending how much you wanna spend all the way up into the 
50, 60, hundreds of thousand dollars on brand new machines. So say you've got a thousand dollars saved and you want to start a vending machine business. I would personally go on Facebook Marketplace, which I see vending machines pop up all the time for about $600. You might need to spend one or $200 on it just to get it fixed and then drive around and approach businesses where you would like to put it. And then once you've made a deal with that business owner and the business is located where it's got a lot of foot traffic and people are walking by all the time, like a car mechanic, they drop their car off and they're sitting there waiting. They see a vending machine, they got a little growly tummy. They're gonna go get a soda or a uh, Snickers or something. And once you've done that, then essentially you've just started a vending machine business for about $800. Probably you're gonna have to spend some money on supplies. So you can get into the vending machine business for as little as $1,000. And then what you do is you just keep the profits that you make, store that away, and once you've made another 600 bucks, well then you go out and buy another vending machine, and then you just do it again. And then over time, you know, five, six, seven years, who knows how many machines you'll have. You could have anywhere from 10 to 50 vending machines, and then you've just replaced your income or supplemented your income, and there you go, financial freedom. So my fourth passive income business idea is the ATM business. Many people probably don't know that you can own ATMs, but you can. Now I've done a little bit of research on this, but not too much, so don't quote me, but I believe you can get some ATM machines for anywhere from about eight to $12,000. And once again, you just find a good location to put it at, like a nightclub or a bar or a convenience store where people need some cash and they just quickly pull over, run in and get cash. Well, then you make fees on every transaction. And once again, it's the snowball effect. You save profits and over three, four, five years, how many ATMs can you build up where you're making five, six, seven thousand $7,000 a month and you can not retire, but you can you know, live, live the life you want and you only have to service the machines every so often. So you don't physically have to work to make the money. Because to quote the great Warren Buffett, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, then you're gonna spend the rest of your life working for money. And that's fine for most people if they wanna do that, but there's a lot of people out there who don't like their job. So hopefully this can help you guys get out of your job. And it's not gonna happen overnight. It might take two nights. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It might take six months, it might take 12 months, it might take three or four or five years. But it's better to start now because if you don't, then 20 or 30 years from now, you're still at the same dead end job, getting nowhere. And you're gonna look back and think, well, I probably should have started one of these businesses. But passive income business number five is real estate. Now this is gonna differ from where you live. You know, everyone's gonna say, well, you need money to get into real estate. Yes and no, money helps, it makes it easier, but you know, it's not always about finding the easiest route, it's about making it happen no matter what. Now, obviously in Santa Monica, it's a little different than say Ohio or Indianapolis, where you can buy houses for like 10 to 15 or $20,000. Yes, they're run down, but they're the ones you want. You want the most run down house on the best street, so you can fix it up a little bit, add value, and then put a tenant in there, and then it's gonna cash flow every month. And then, you know, you, you build up and over five, six, seven years, you have 15 to 20 houses, and there's your passive income coming in there. So real estate can be a great passive income business. Obviously, you get all the tax benefits, you get appreciation, and you get the monthly cash flow once, those, once you find the right deals. But again, it all comes back to education. It's studying, you don't just put your money in blindly and think, I'm gonna buy this house and uh, see what happens. So that's my passive income business idea number five, which is real estate. Now, passive income business idea number six is storage facilities. I mean, a lot of people have crap, a lot of people have junk, and they just don't wanna throw it away. They wanna hold on to it, but they don't have room at their house. So they're gonna go rent a storage unit at a self storage facility. And this is another business that requires very little time and is truly a passive income business. It might take 20 to 30 minutes of your time every month. And the goal with the self storage unit business is to be 100% occupied and have every storage unit rented out. Because just like an apartment building, if you have 50 apartments and 25 are rented out and 25 are not, well then you're just having a bunch of vacancies. So the storage unit facility is the same. You know, if you have 500 storage units and you only have 250 rented out, well the other 250 just sit there doing nothing. So again, you're gonna make it the best with good security. You're gonna make people feel like their things are safe so that you can be 100% occupied and make the most out of that business, because why not?
And as we get to the last and final passive income business idea, this has quickly became one of my favorites. We've got the beautiful Santa Monica Pier in the background, and it is simply starting a YouTube channel, which anyone can do. Now, the good thing about starting a YouTube channel is you can do it for free. You don't have to make an initial investment. You don't have to spend 10 or $15,000 up front. All you have to do is have a phone with an internet connection. You can create a YouTube channel and start posting videos. Now, a lot of people do this for fun, but a lot of people treat it as a business such as myself. I started mine about 12 months ago and I have 14 and a half thousand subscribers. For some, that's a lot. For some, that's not many. Everyone's journey is different, but I'm happy with my results and I just want to keep growing it more and more. Now, a lot of you are probably going to ask yourself, is a YouTube channel truly passive income because you have to go make the videos, you have to go home and edit them? Well, I, I'm working right now. Yeah, I'm walking along the beach, but I'm working and I'm going to go home and spend a couple of hours editing it. So I'm working, but I mean, it's fun. I enjoy it. What else am I going to do? Watch the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial? Oh yeah, that's pretty entertaining too. I'm watching that, but you know, I, I enjoy doing it. It doesn't feel like work. And once you can get to the point where you monetize your channel, well then you start making monthly income and you might spend six hours filming the video and six hours editing. So if you spend 12 hours on that video and you post it, once you're monetized, you're going to start making money off that video as long as it's up and people are watching it. The thing about posting a YouTube video is once it's up and online and live, and you're monetized and people are watching it, you're gonna make money from those ads that they show before and after the videos and even during the videos. You make money on those ads. And that's a great way to create extra passive income. Every month YouTube pays you and it's fun. You know, you, you get your video out, you, up, you film a video, you upload it and people watch it. Well, hopefully if it's good, people watch it and you make money. So there you have it guys. That's my eight passive income business ideas for you to get started on. Some take more money than others, but the goal is to ultimately just start. All right, viewers, that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna run into the ocean. I'm Chris Atkins with the Car Wash Chronicles. Thanks for watching, see you all next time.